Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So first of all, I'm currently sick, so sorry about my voice. So it's gonna be a little bit rusty um, here and there. So yeah, I'm um, second of all. Uh, this time I'm actually doing a little bit uh, something different because um, I'm actually commentating while uh, the gameplay is not live. Like the gameplay is gonna be pre-recorded. Um, because today I actually have a different topic that it might be uh, like interesting for a lot of you guys because I know that most of my viewer base is like students and like people that go to school and stuff so um, hopefully this topic is gonna help you and it's gonna be interesting for you um, but yeah here we go so I'm currently 18 years old and I have a lot of experience with school um, which you know I guess it's not that much uh, but I know that most of you guys I would say about like my viewer, my average viewer age is about 14. So um, yeah, uh, I guess this could be helpful for you. Um, but anyway, um, uh, first of all, I don't know if um, this is gonna be relevant for every one of you because, or you know, maybe only for people in Slovenia. But I'm sure that you know it's gonna be um, helpful for everyone. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, currently I'm actually a little bit pissed because I have two retake exams. Um, I have one retake exam in German and one in math, um, which is kind of stupid because I uh, like I really shouldn't have one, you know, in math. Um, I, I was just really lazy. <laughs> I had to take one last exam and I was just too lazy to study. So yeah, I um, I kind of screwed up, but. Um, yeah, but German, I'm actually really pissed because, uh, like, our German teacher is basically retarded, um, I'm sorry about that, like, but, uh, I'm actually really pissed, um, okay, first of all, what's the criteria in your country? It's usually, like, 50% to pass a test, right? So, um, it was actually 80% to pass a test in German, like, one German test, which, it was not a normal test, but still, you know, like, it, it was, like, um, the results were the same as, okay, I don't know how to explain this, but, um, it was pretty much a normal test, maybe a little bit easier, it was basically just irregular war, uh, verbs in German, but still, like, the results were pretty much the same as in every other test, um, or, you know, they would be if the criteria would be normal, like, 50%, there would be, like, two negatives and then um, like some A's um, I guess I'm just gonna talk like in uh, English grades you know A, uh, you know, A, B, C, D and then F I think uh, but yeah in Slovenia by the way we have uh, from 1 to 5 when 1 is negative and then 5 is the best um, but yeah anyway um, yeah so uh, I'm kinda pissed um, but yeah we're gonna talk about the school system and why I think it's broken and how to fix it so yeah first of all um, I think most of you guys will agree that we like in school we learn so much stuff that we will never need you know in our lives like in math um, I, don't, I don't say math is uh, I wouldn't say you know we don't need math because we definitely need the basic math you know um, like, uh, you know, the basic math that we learn in the first few grades, um, <coughs> or the first few years. And then, like, uh, when you're gonna be in high school, there's just gonna be so much stuff that most of people will never need. Like, I know that there's gonna be people that are gonna say, like, what if you're gonna be, like, an architect or something? Like, you're, you're gonna need math, you know? But, like, most people are not gonna need it, you know? So, yeah, there's definitely a lot of things that we will never need, you know? Not only math, there's, like, chemistry that also, like, most people will never need. Um, so, there's just so much stuff in, like, so much basic education, you know? Um, that it shouldn't be basic, you know? It shouldn't be... Uh, known by everyone. Okay, so now I'm gonna explain to you guys why I think this is actually our fault, like the fault of us, you know, the students. So, um, if you guys have ever heard of, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but it's like Gaussian distribu distribution. Uh, I'm not sure how it's pronounced in English, uh, or it's, I think it's Gaussian distribution. Um, you should Google it. It's, uh, it's actually really um, interesting, and you're probably gonna learn about it in high school. 
but yeah, it basically tells you that um, there's always gonna be the same grades, and you know, not not only grades. It's basically about you know the the whole world, you know how how people work. Um, uh, but yeah, it basically tells you that um, there's always gonna be pretty much the same amount of A's and like F's, and then it's gonna be the same amount of uh, B's and D's, I guess. Okay, so what I'm trying to say is that no matter how much you study, there's always gonna be the same grades for other people and you. Like, if you're gonna study more than you should, um, basically you're just gonna move the criteria like more up, you know? Okay, so I don't know how to explain this, but like more than people will study, the harder the criteria will be. So I don't know if I really don't know how to explain this, but I, th I think uh, most of you guys will understand what I'm trying to say. So I guess in other words, like we have some basic education that we have to know, but like some people will just learn all of it, and then um, basically if everyone would just learn all of it, then everyone would have an A, and then um, you know there would be no way to uh, decide like who will uh, go in good school, who will go in bad school, who's gonna be. Uh, scientist and who's gonna be like a garbage man, you know? Um, so that's what I'm that's what I'm gonna talk about in the next few minutes. So basically, that's gonna cause that eventually we're gonna have to study things that we don't even need, like imaginary numbers. You know, we're gonna you're gonna probably have to study that in, in high school, and it's actually very funny to me because obviously imaginary numbers don't even exist, and we still have to learn how to um, how to do math with them, which is kind of funny, you know, it's, it's so stupid. Okay, anyway, so here's my solution of how to fix this. Now, um, currently, uh, we just learn so much basic education, you know, not really basic, but just so much uh, education that we don't need, um, and I think there, sh there should be a lot more, like, specific education that you're gonna need for your job, you know? Um, so, you know, less basic education and more job education. Now, um, the problem is that uh, currently, like, education is, like, the only way to decide, like, who's gonna go in a good school, who's gonna go in a, you know, bad school, who's gonna be a dropout, you know? Um, and I think there should be a different way to, like, decide that. Like, for instance, if you wanna be, like, a movie director, you're gonna have to have pretty much all A's. Like uh, movie movie director is pretty much the uh, the the highest, you know, the job that you're gonna have to have the highest grade grades to like study it. Now um, I'm sure that um, there would be a lot of people that would make a great movie director without having all A's. Like you know, there there's other things to it than um, just education you know there, there has to be talent to like direct movies you know? you know what I'm saying so yeah what I'm trying to say is that education should not be the only way to decide like who's gonna have a good job who's gonna be like a movie director or like maybe an actor or something because you don't need education for that like I mean you need some basic education but mostly you need like job experience and uh, uh, talent and stuff you know so yeah, I think that's kind of all that I was gonna like tell you guys, um, so hope you enjoyed the video, tell me what you think about the topic, um, and yeah, see you next time, peace.